In this video, I'm going to cover an introduction to uh, synthetics uh, exchange, uh, which is a protocol for trading synthetic assets on Ethereum. So they offer a um, token, which is ERC20 on Ethereum, called SNX. And with their exchange, you actually can exchange uh, cryptocurrencies, um, commodities, and equities. Now, the most uh, interesting and attractive um, part of the synthetics is uh, their um, staking uh, facility that uh, basically pays out 60 over 60 percent um, per, per year for um, staking SNX. Now, the attractive part about it is not just the 60% um, interest that you make per year, uh, is also the value of the SNX that is uh, growing um, parabolically. So if you believe uh, in the decentralized finance, Basically, SNX is one of the leaders of um, this um, phenomenon. And the best place to have a look at uh, the performance is on the DeFi leaderboard. And first of all, you can see that the total value locked is 4.23 billion. And at the moment, number one is for all of them is uh, Maker number two, Compound, number three, Ave, and four, Synthetics. And they're very close to each other, as you can see, it's 528 to 521. And they keep on swapping their positions. Here you can see more details of the lendings. So these are the solutions that uh, offers lending. And you can see other a or other, which means ghost in Finnish, is number three. Then you have decentralized exchanges. And uh, number three is Uniswap. And Uniswap is now uh, having higher volume than some of the centralized um, exchanges. Then you have derivatives. And the synthetics in the derivatives section is number one. Nexus Mutual uh, is number two, but I wouldn't consider that a decentralized uh, uh, derivatives because uh, they're actually controlled centralized. I don't know why they're actually here. And the recent fiasco about uh, the ne Nexus Mutual um, was also um, under scrutiny, but we are not going to cover that in this uh, video. Then you have the payments and assets. So assets uh, can be categorized such as WBTC. That is also a um, sort of uh, centralized uh, entity because you have to give your BTCs to a centralized uh, uh, entity that they wrap it, they wrap it and offer you on the Ethereum, uh, Ethereum uh, network. And then you can uh, basically use it um, as collaterals or um, for trading on, as an ERC20 um, uh, coin on the decentralized exchanges such as Kyber. Then you also have uh, the decentralized um, aggregators such as uh, one inch. And in one inch, if you are making a, uh, an exchange, first of all, uh, you don't need any username or you don't need any um, registration. And you simply can use your uh, ledger to uh, make an exchange between all the ERC20 uh, coins. And here we have uh, the US dollar to Ethereum, for an example. And when you put your value here, it goes and finds the best uh, exchange for you. And it gives you the difference as well. 
Now, we're not going to go too much into uh, the aggregators and the decentralized exchanges because our focus today is actually synthetics. Now, the part in the synthetics I want to focus today is the Minter. So when you go to the Minter, you'll see that um, you have a target collateralization of the 750% ratio. And this shows what is your ratio at the point that you have uh, staked your synthetics or SNX. So what happens is, if your collateral, uh, the current collateralization ratio drops between your target, you do not get liquidated. But your weekly uh, claims, which is done by going through the claim, will be blocked until you change your uh, level back to 750 and over. So in this particular case, you can see your holdings. This is locked uh, 1,000 and it's transferable 1,000 and you're staking 1,000. So then you have escrowed 1,000 and non-escrowed 1,000. Okay, these are all um, imaginary numbers, just for an example. But that means that when you claim your synthetics, the claim synthetics goes into an escrow for one year. And uh, you, you cannot sell those. And that brings a stability to the ecosystem. As well as very high 750% uh, target collateralization ratio, which uh, makes uh, synthetics a lot more stable and stops the uh, pumps and dumps. And meanwhile, when you collateralize uh, your uh, SNX, you will get some SUSD, which is a USD version of the synthetics. And with that, you can basically buy anything that is available on the synthetics network. So you can trade. So if your trade is more successful, therefore, your collaterals will be higher, and if you want to burn or unlock your SNXs, then uh, you won't have any problems at any time. And here you get your balances. So this gives you the SNX total balance, and uh, this gives you the USD, US dollar uh, equivalents, and this one gives your um, Ethereum balance, because for all these uh, exchanges or transfers, you will need some uh, Ethereum to uh, actually do the transaction. And if your staking is very little, um, like, you know, below 500 or $1,000, uh, the Ethereum transaction could be actually too expensive for that. And you have to pay attention to the gas fees. And then you have the synths. The synths are basically um, your synthetics or your derivatives that you have purchased with your SNX. So that could be gold, silver, Bitcoin, and uh, whatever they have available on their exchange. Now, in order to avoid <clears throat> getting under collateralized and to find the best time to adjust that by minting uh, uh, by uh, either burning or putting more SUSD to balance out this you have uh, the how that uh, we created the last trigger uh, for um, Guay, for Ethereum, that reaches 45. So that gives you the uh, cheapest price that you can actually uh, make your transactions. So when the Guay is lower, that's the best time to do all your um, synthetic transactions as well, because uh, the, 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 the cost of the transaction will be a lot lower. Now, if you go to the Create, you also can uh, create a synthetics uh, trigger with a C ratio. So this C ratio is actually what we talked about here. So C ratio is your collateral ratio that has to be kept over 750. So on your weekly claims, if your 
collateralization is below 750, here like 740, you wouldn't be able to claim. And if you wait more than a week, you will actually lose your um, claim. So you have to find the best time to actually do your collateralization and make your claims. And in order to do that, you use this recipe. All you have to do is you put your Ethereum address, your Ethereum wallet address here. And when the C ratio is greater than C50, 750, you will get noticed by an email. So then you put your email address here. We put it here at contact.fabitysolutions.net, which is my company. And the subject, we call it C ratio for synthetics. You can either also post it to Discord or post it to Slack or create a webhook. Then you name your um, trigger and you can save it. But in this particular case, uh, I still haven't put uh, the Ethereum address. And that address will look something like these addresses here. So basically, if you copy this address and you put it here, you see that says the current C ratio for the address that you put is zero. That means that uh, you haven't uh, bought any SNX and you haven't actually collateralized on the uh, synthetics. So that is because I just picked up some random address here. But still, you can create it. And voila. So you can see the synthetics uh, trigger is sitting here, but it's never activated. I hope uh, that was useful. Let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for your attention.